Hey guys, so today I want to share with you guys how to make a photo boot. I'm not 100% sure how you call these, but basically it's cutting the whole inside and then it's like a frame and then people use it. It's very popular. People use it to like hold on to them and then people are like inside the frame, I guess, and they take pictures. And yeah, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys my creation. I didn't have this in my budget and I really wanted one. So I went ahead and just used what I had and I'm going to work with that. I started off with getting posters. So I have two posters. I have one here and one there. And that one I'm using as a template. So yeah, with that being said, basically you want to start off with lining up everything. So you want to leave a good gap on all corners on all sides uh so you can ride whatever you want and then so you could add any embellishments or anything like that that you would like to have on your banner i decided to write happy birthday kimilicious and then down here it says ice cream you scream we all scream for ice cream i went ahead and did a whole bunch of ice creams on there with sprinkles so what i did basically is draw my ice cream scoops in a size like a 12 by 12 paper just like this cardstock paper i get all my cardstock paper at um michael's and you can get it at walmart as well i've seen it there but yeah basically i just grabbed one paper that i wasn't going to use and i went ahead and did my template so i have this one here i did three different sizes and then I did this one here. So these are the two sizes that I'm using for the poster. Basically, you do the same with the cones. Um, you just go ahead and cut templates and then use those to trace everything else. So I have my templates of those somewhere on here. Here's one. So I have different cones to fit each of the scoops. This is for the bigger one and the smaller one is somewhere around here. So all that. And then I went ahead and cut it out. And then here you go. So I cut out the cone, I cut out the scoops, and I kind of just played with everything. Um, at first, I only had one scoop like that, and then I had one here in the middle with its cone. Then I decided to add um, just another scoop to that one, just like that everywhere else. So right now, this side is done with the ice cream, the sprinkles, I still need to play with them. Like I said, you pretty much can do these for any theme, any occasion, and you could decorate them as your theme or for anything you want. So I want to go ahead and share with you guys what I'm doing with the frame. This is the picture frame. I am decorating it. I already had my husband cut it out. And then I um, did some ice creams. And then I went to Michael's and picked up these, uh, what do you call these, like trim borders, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah, I got them on sale actually. They were really, really cheap. They were only two bucks each. They're originally five bucks. So I saved myself three bucks each. And I bought a couple other ones. You guys can see when I um, decorate our stands for like the cupcakes and the cake. Uh, they're just different ones, but they're about the same uh, kind of idea, you could say. So yeah, I went ahead and picked these up. I thought these would be pretty cool to decorate this uh, border of the frame. And I went ahead and just uh started off so i could show you guys exactly what i'm doing so basically i'm doing like the pink and the mint on top my dad has really nice writing so he's gonna come and write everything on it i'm just taking care of decorating it so it could be ready for him to write on it and then it could be ready for the party so what i'm doing is just basically putting hot glue right here on the border of the poster and then i'm going ahead and gluing everything on there so I did it at the bottom, I'm doing it on the top. Alright guys, so I am all done. I really really love the whole ribbon detail. I think it's super cute and awesome. Okay, so we finished the poster. This is the finished product of it. 
Uh, my dad came and wrote on it and I love it. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Go